All right, this video is going to walk you through how to find mean, median, mode, and range of data. If you recall when we learned earlier about socks of our data graphs, we wanted to try to figure out what the center is. That's what the C stands for. These three words help you determine what that C or center is of our data, either as a graph or as a list of data. So, so far in our chapter, we've learned how to work with data, either as raw numbers like you see right here, or in the form of a dot plot, stem leaf, histogram, or even frequency tables. We try to find the middle or the center of these items. So to find this, the mean, median, mode of these values, we'll talk about each one individually and how to solve and find those things. So first of all, the mean. The mean, when you talk about that, we're talking about the average of the data. Uh, the way you find the average of the data, or the mean, is you add up all the data values and you then divide by how many there are, or the number of data. There's a symbol that we use that helps uh, to represent average. It's this little X with a bar over it. If you ever see this, it's referring to the average or the mean. The letter N will show up in some of your formulas as well. N is the number of data that are in your data set. You'll see that show up once in a while too. Next, the median. That's another form of our center of data. Uh, we can find the median by looking at a set of numbers and try to find the middle number. If you ever have an odd number of data values, that middle number will be, right, obviously all by itself. If you ever have an even number of data, you're going to have to take the two middle numbers instead average those, and divide, or add them together and divide by two, and that'll be your median value. So seven is the median of this kind of set of data. Next, if you're trying to figure out the central value of a data set using the mode, the mode is the value or values that show up the most. Oops. And what you're gonna notice here in the first example, you'll notice the number five shows up three times. That one wins the game, and that gets to be called the mode because it shows up the most. If you saw it in the form of a, of a histogram or even a dot plot, you'd see a big peak at five. If you saw the next example here where it goes four, four and five, five, where there's a tie, if you ever have a tie for the most, then both of those get listed off as winners, okay? If you also had a problem where there were all the data points tied, then there would be no mode. Or if you don't have any data values that, that don't repeat or have duplicates, then you would have no mode also. So the mean, median, mode can be represented in three different ways and now you've seen all three. The last item to talk about is the range. The range is the distance uh, mentioned from the spread. If you talk about the minimum value and the maximum value, if you figure out how far it is, that distance value is your range. So from 10 all the way up to 60, that's 50 units away, so your range would be 50. And the last thing is, is to put it all together, just to review these four words again, just so, it doesn't, so you can make some sense out of this again. The first three words are about central tendency, the socks, the C value that you see in the data as you try to describe where the center is. The last thing is the range, which talks about the distance from the minimum to the maximum. Hopefully this information helps and give you a better idea of how to find those values. In the next video, I'll show you how to use your calculator to get an easy calculation of these numbers as well. Good luck and hopefully this helps.